let us discuss the conditions for constructive and destructive interference as we already know when two waves superpose the resulting amplitude is given as root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos phi where a1 a2 are the amplitude of component waves and phi is the phase difference between them if we talk about this resulting amplitude here we can say r will be maximum when cos phi is equals to plus 1 if here cos phi is equals to plus 1 we can see the value of maximum amplitude will be this will become a1 a square plus a2 a square plus 2 a1 a2 which is the whole square of a1 plus a2 so this can be written as a1 plus a2 which is equals to 2a if a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a so here we can say the resulting amplitude after interference is maximum at a medium particle when cos phi is equals to 1 cos phi will be 1 when the phase difference between the two can be written as an even multiple of pi it is 2 and pi where n belongs to a set of integers so we know well that when phase difference is 2 and pi this implies Oscillations are in same phase. So we can say when two waves superpose at a medium particle exactly in same phase, we can state at the point the resulting amplitude of oscillation after superposition will be maximum. And this is called constructive interference. So we can see the basic condition for constructive interference to take place at a point is the wave should superpose in same phase such that their oscillations are in same phase or the phase difference is 2n pi. Similarly, we can say here, similarly r will be minimum when cos phi in the above expression is minus 1. Here if you substitute cos phi as minus 1, you can see the result will be a1 a square plus a2 a square minus 2 a1 a2. Uh, that will be whole square of uh, difference of a1 and a2. So we can write in this situation the minimum value of r can be written as a1 minus a2. Magnitude we consider here. So in this situation we can say this minimum value can also be taken as 0 if uh, the two amplitudes are equal and in this situation the resulting amplitude will be zero or minimum when cos phi is equals to minus one and this implies the phase difference between the two waves must be an odd multiple of pi then only cos phi will be minus one and when phase difference is odd multiple of pi this implies oscillations are in opposite phase so when two coherent waves superpose on a medium particle exactly in opposite phase or with a phase difference or multiple of pi after superposition the resulting amplitude of medium particle will be least and uh, this is called destructive interference About the constructive and destructive interference, we have already discussed at the time of introducing interference. Here we have mathematically found out the conditions also. Like when waves superpose in same phase, constructive interference takes place. And when waves superpose in opposite phase, destructive interference takes place.